Pineapple, I didn't have time, thanks to some weird thing I got involved with tonight. Um, I like to bring pineapple because pineapple does everything. Pineapple is an incredible digestive aid. It, um, it's used as, it relieves gas, it, redu it reduces edema in, in, your, in your flesh, it has wounds. It's, um, you could actually put it on where you have flaky skin or have scar tissue and use it to rub in to, to eliminate the scar tissue and improve your skin. It's actually incredible. It um, uh, and intensifies all kinds of antibiotic, antibiotic activity. In other words, if you're using something else, this will help do it. It'll also be somewhat of its own antibiotic. It uh, supposedly can prevent heart, heart attacks. It clears the lungs of smokers. It, um, it they say, is a warm infusion can, can control spider bite. And spider bite, in all the years I've been fooling around outside, and I've been stung by everything that can sting, bite, thrash, nail your throat spears. And I've never had a spider bite. Now, I don't know why. I mean, I've done things that I should have gotten, but somehow or other, I never have. And you can only sell a spider bite because it, it never heals. The wound just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It ulcerates. It keeps digesting the tissue around it. So you have to have something to stop that. Now, it's possible I got hit by spiders and used my trusty ammonia trick and knocked it out before I knew what it was. Because the ammonia really does incredible things. All right. But the neat thing about this, if you were down to South America and all the old ruins and everything, they have pineapples carved into the stone. Because a pineapple is a universal symbol of welcome and friendship. So is rosemary, by the way. Rosemary is also supposed to be a symbol of friendship. You're supposed to give a young couple when they first get married a rosemary plant. And if the rosemary plant grows really, really well, the woman rules the house. <laughs> <laughs> Um, our Rosemary recently died. I'm expecting all kinds of hell to take place any day now. But I think our, our mailman got it, I think. Um, also, Rosemary has such a great smell. Whenever I'm near Rosemary, I usually break it off my stick in my pocket. And um, Rosemary enhances your mental acuity. The thing that the Romans wore around was Rosemary. And if they had to take tests and that kind of thing, they were studying for something, they would put these... Uh, what were they called, laurels or something, mm -hmm. of rosemary, because actually rosemary, the oil of that, and the, and the, the oils and the, and the aromas and all that, can actually penetrate skin. So it, some of it comes into the skin, so it can actually get into your brain and stimulate your brain. I don't know, don't know how it does that, but I'm always smelling just to be on the safe side. Um, back to pineapple again, it really is incredible. Now, what, I forgot that... I was going to buy one on the way back, but when I got involved this other crazy paper, uh, I didn't have time to stop and get one. When you get a pineapple, how many of you put the pineapple down on the counter and cut the top off the pineapple before you start cutting? Okay, never do that again. It's bad. Don't do that. You take the pineapple and you get a good grip on it and take the head and you twist the head and it comes right off. And you, you save about, I don't know, four or five gigantic teaspoons of pineapple, first place, by doing that. And secondly, when you pull that out of there, you can see that the base of that has root initials, places where roots will come up. And you take that and put it somewhere, light shade, let it sit for a couple of weeks, so you remember it again, and then plant it in a real well-drained soil, and you'll get 99% of them to root. A year later, you get your own pineapple. If the raccoons and the other wildlife hasn't found it first, <laughs> that you were tracking into your yard. But uh, it, it's absolutely delicious. Homegrown pineapples, I don't care what the variety is, are really, really good. And well, uh, it, I do that, but why, why do you wait two weeks before you plant it? I always just plant it. If you put them right away, uh -huh. if you get too much moisture in the soil, they'll rot before they'll grow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, and I'll tell you another really weird okay. thing, is the more you pay for the pineapple, the better the chances that it will grow. I, it's, you know, this isn't voodoo or something. I think if you really think about it, what happens is the cheaper pineapples are the ones that uh, are not coming from farms that are certified or being cared for. They're coming from farms that are run cheaply and they have a lot of problems with the fruit and they're smoked when they come in. 
That's an old term. I used to be a plant inspector, so we, we had a witness smoking and all that. That's methyl bromide in a closed truck at measured amounts. And they put that under to kill anything that might be on that pineapple, and it also kills the bud. And I think that you find that the cheaper the pineapple, the more likely it will die. So that's, that's the way I put it together anyway. But if you can get one to grow, it'll, it'll take, you, as you say, you can put it right in the ground. Yeah, as long as you don't keep it too wet. Yeah. And uh, if yeah, you plant I understand it, there's a limit on how many times it'll grow, though. In the old days, the old pineapples that also had nasty spines all over them. These, the new ones don't have any spines. But the old ones, um, they did not, uh, there's a couple of weird things that happen. One of them is called a ratoon. And a ratoon comes off from below the pineapple, like a great big long sprout. In the old days, some of them had ratoons, and you could grow the pineapple from the ratoon. You could also grow, sometimes they put a sucker from the bottom of the plant if you left the pineapple on long enough. But the ones we have today, if you take the mother plant and take the pineapple off, there's an excellent chance the mother plant will produce another plant next to it and go over again. Because they're, they're breeding for this, because it saves the replanting time. You know, they don't have to send a monstrous crew back in to replant to pull out the old ones and put the new ones in. The ones that are there are ready to regrow. And that may be forever. Or it may just be two or three times. I don't know. But so if you realize that, I don't see why it wouldn't be forever as long as they, you know, they're, they're rooting out. I'm putting them in the ground and I'm putting them in pots. Pots work too? Well, I don't have room for them to grow beside them. <laughs> oh, I see what you're talking about. Well, to expand. the best pineapples I've grown in containers are at least 14 inch. So we call in trade seven gallon, and those are just about big enough to grow a good pineapple, because they they're vigorous plants. They really do grow well. Yeah, I've got different sizes, yeah. different size pots, so different size but pineapples. Yeah. Okay. The spiny ones will uh, uh, regenerate. Them. Yeah, the spiny ones. I I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen a spiny one in the stores. I don't know. A bunch in my yard. You got in your yard. You got the old variety. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of varieties around that are incredible. There's one. It puts a fruit out about this big. And it was called Florida Sweet. I think it's absolutely incredible. And not it wasn't Florida Sweet, it was Puerto Rico Sweet. And that thing was just, just delicious. Just as sweet as it could possibly be. And I had a big stand of that. And then of course you, you get rid of the stand, you don't think about what you're doing, you forget where it went, and nobody everybody I know who's had that thing has lost it. So you may find it, in, you may have it in your yard because you got a collection of some of the old ones. Puerto Rico Sweet was around about 15 years ago, maybe a little bit more than that. So there's heirloom pineapples, like there are heirloom tomatoes and other stuff. So, now, anyway. are they uh, of the same family of, as vermilions? They are vermilions, yes. They are. They are vermilions. Um, I'm on a campaign. I'm almost healed up now. I had a big, I had a big pineapple job or a bromeliad job before Christmas. I'm, I'm starting to look for user-friendly pineapples, uh, or use the pineapples we have already, because they're called smooth. There's one called smooth cayenne, that is actually one of the commercial pineapples. And when you get a pineapple, it'll have a little label through it, and that's usually the variety of that pineapple. So, but there's other vermilions too, you know, we have some of these spectacular acmeas that'll eat you alive, you know, attack without propagation. They live on human blood. And um, you don't always have to get this kind. There's some beautiful new hybrids of them. There's a hybrid of, of acmea and um, I believe it's Holenbergia, which is a vermilion most of you wouldn't run into unless you were vermilion nuts, you know. And uh, this thing is about this high. And it's silver, looks just like just like the, the big gold silver ones that you buy in Publix and every place else, the Chantinis and the I guess they're Chantini. And but it puts out this huge bloom that's pink, the most incredible pink I've ever seen. And the first time I saw this thing bloom was that it looked like Alf. Do you remember Alf? It used to be on TV, the weird looking thing. Well the bloom looked like Alf, except it was like this. It was like a basketball. Just a huge, huge bloom. Hmm. And these things are totally user friendly. Except the bloom spike. They don't have all those spikes on the leaves? No spikes on the leaves. Okay. The cones have a lot easier time going in and tearing them apart. So, by the way, dogs will often attack bromeliads. 
because the bromeliad bites back. And we have a terrible time on, on some jobs because the owner's dog doesn't we take the pineapples out. Now, iguanas, and I'm not sure about this, but I don't think iguanas will bother the, the, the foliage of the spiny pineapples, but they will pull the bloom out. And I just got to do more work on that, because the last time I had that, I discovered there were also Muscovy ducks working the property over too, because it was near a canal. So I'm not sure if it was Muscovy's got the bloom on my bromeliads or not. But something pulled the bloom out, and the bromeliads were okay, but the bloom was pulled out of them. And uh, there were pieces of the bloom around, so something was eating it. And I thought, I thought it was a clonus. 